All right, so what's up, people? I found another app I'm going to show you guys. I think it's a really helpful utility, so I figured I'd share it with everyone. Currently, it's 99 cents on the App Store. It is on sale. Uh, you'll find it on the top paid page as number 26, uh, and it's called Memory Freer. Now, pretty much what this does is uh, not only does it free up your inactive memory and memory from other places, it splits up your memory into uh, the different labels, and it also gives you this pie chart, which really helps me out because, as you can see up here, when you have the application actually running, it shows up here and you can kind of just keep an eye on where your memory is being split up. Uh, you mostly want to focus on the green because that's your free memory. Um, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to show you some how the app actually works. So uh, first I'll say the only way to get to it is through your launch pad. There's no longer an icon on your dock. So you can't keep it in your dock or anything like that. You can, however, set it up to launch at boot. So when you turn on your computer, you can have it so that it already starts up. You know, kind of like with caffeine, where it will already start up. Uh, but here's what the icon looks like. That's what you'll find in Launchpad. So I'm going to get out of Launchpad. And then you get this in your toolbar, as I said. So you can click on that. And as you can see, it's split up into four different sections. So I'm kind of just going to explain what each section is first, because I personally didn't know what each thing meant and how it worked up until maybe a few weeks ago. So I figured I'd share that. Because, you know, I'm sure there are people that don't know what any of these terms mean. Now, free memory, that's pretty much self-explanatory. That's the amount of memory that your computer is not using. It's not in use. Uh, any application that you would open can draw from that. So if I opened up Photoshop, if I had it, it would come from that 2.35 gigabytes, or iTunes, or Skype, or any kind of app like that. It would come out of this 2.35 gigabytes that I have. Out of my total four, that is free. Now, wired memory... Basically what that is, is that is memory that your computer has to be using in order for it to run. So it's always, for me, between like 660 at, to like 750. It does change, but uh, so, but, you know, you pretty much need like 750 megabytes to get my iMac running. Uh, you can't take from there, like you can't draw from the wired memory. Uh, you can't use that for anything else. That has to stay where it is. Now, active memory, that's pretty much, uh, you know, what you're using right now, what the applications or processes you have running, uh, that's pretty much what they're drawing their memory from. So right now I have QuickTime recording, I have Mac App Store open, I have Memory Freer open, and I have some background processes running probably. So that's, you know, all adds up to that one uh, gig almost there, the 909 megabytes. Obviously QuickTime takes up the most just because it's, you know, recording right now. Now inactive memory, I wanted to kind of just talk about that. Uh, that is memory that your computer kind of puts to the side so that you can launch applications that you've recently closed much faster. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed when you first turn on your computer, your applications might take a little bit longer time to load or open up. Uh, this is pretty much what the inactive memory function is that when you close an app, it will open up much, much, much faster because your computer uh, still has that memory set aside for that application. So like I had Google Chrome open, so that's probably why there's 115 megabytes in inactive memory. So that when I open Google Chrome, you know, after I do this video, to go to YouTube or something, it will load really fast. Now how the free memory works is, I'll just click on it for you guys. Uh, it pretty much will free up memory from, you know, the four, well not free obviously, but the three other sections. Mostly from inactive memory, but sometimes from other places. Uh, and it just freed 110 megabytes for me right now. I did it right before I did the video, and it freed up something like almost 400 megabytes. So obviously you can see if you're trying to run something like Photoshop, you could, you know, free some memory up with this app, and then maybe it would run smoother if you're having problems. So that's pretty much, I just wanted to show you guys this app. I thought it was really uh, convenient, especially since it puts the application, uh, you know, it puts this icon up here where you can kind of keep tabs on, uh, where your memory is. Uh, I like to just, you know, look up every now and then to see how much free memory uh, I have. 2.4 gigs right now. So I just thought this would help you guys out. Remember, it's 99 cents on the Mac App Store. Uh, you need Snow Leopard to get it, obviously, um, which also requires an Intel processor, all that stuff. So uh, just thanks for checking out this video, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions.